Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model this CCTV uh, camera. Okay, so it will be parametric, so you can change the angle of this, and also uh, you can go up and down. Okay, so let's do it. So first, uh, let's just create a new. So this family will be, uh, it can be either a wall, wall, wall mounted family or face based, wall based family or face based family. Let's just uh, make it face based. Um, generic model, face based. Okay, so always remember when we model face based, so this is so in the floor, the face is horizontal. So if you if you need to place this family on the wall, so you need to um, uh, remember. So need to rotate. So just imagine this is a wall, and then you need to instead of so this is a floor plan, and if you want to look at um, uh, how it looks like in floor plan, you need to go to either front or back. Okay, so yep. So let's start first. Um, uh, let's model some reference plans. So these reference plans will be used for the base. So the the base. So let's just quickly uh, just mod uh, do some dimension equal and equal. So and uh, you can add another dimension. So for these, I'm not going to create any uh, parameters. So if you want to, you can do it. Okay. So for these, uh, I'm just going to type in some dimensions. So for example, uh, so this will be 240. Uh, uh, to be honest, I, I, I'm not sure uh, what the size needs to be. So I'll just roughly um, 80. Um, maybe 120 so this will be the base so which uh, so it will be placed onto the wall okay so and also go to the front view go to the front and then so imagine this is the face you place and then you need, we will need another reference plan and do a dimension so this will be the thickness of that base so I guess I'll just put in 10 mil so now go to floor plan again, so we can create this. So you are going to use extrusion rectangle from here to here and the lock. So now go to front view, finish, and then you can just drag this back to here and lock. And also if you want to, you can lock this as well. Okay. So now if we go to 3D view, so this is a base okay so we can when we place this will be placed on the wall so now go back to floor plan again so now we need a, a little a little arm so from this base uh, come out so we're going to just create another set of reference plans so and dimension di and once again i'm going to just dimension uh, just equal them and also add a dimension to them but i'm not going to uh, add or create any parameter so if you want to you can do it okay so okay so the, the arm um i'm not sure about the size so but i'll just type in maybe 25 so which will make it 50 mil overall and uh, the the, uh, the height I'm not sure, maybe uh, 35, maybe. Okay, so now this will be the the profile of the arm. And then go to front view again. We need to uh, give it a, a length. So another reference plan, DI and dimension. So this one, um, let's make it 250, for example. And then go back to floor plan create an extrusion rectangle from here to here 
lock finish go to from view drag this to this reference plan and drag here to this reference plan so now if we go to 3d view so you will see this is so this is wall and let me change the scale so the line weight uh, will be better so um i think that it's yeah the thickness of this it's uh, maybe let's maybe make it 20 okay so 20 and then this one looks a little bit t too big um, we can just go back to floor plan uh, make it maybe 30 and make make this one 20 so it will be 40 by 60 um, okay so that's our arm. And then we will need a, um, what do we call that? Uh, a thing. Okay, so a thing from this one go up and on which will sit the camera. So let's do it. So go to front view. And so we will need to create another reference plan. So this and to a dimension here. So this will decide. Uh, I'm going to just uh, create a circ circular shape here so I'll just roughly currently it's a 30 I think it's about right so it's here and then go to floor plan and then so this is uh, this view is we looking at the wall okay so so this thing will go start roughly go from here and up there so we will need another reference plan here so let me just change the scale a little bit yeah that's better so add another dimension so this is the the heart of that um that thing so the rotate uh, uh <laughs> okay so let's just give it a, a height maybe 50. so now go back to front view and then you can create um actually let me sorry Let's go back to the uh, floor plan. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to draw that thing start from this reference line. Okay, so create, so set word plan, pick a plan. Okay, pick this, and then you can pick either back, back or front. So let's just choose front, and then we can create an extrusion circle in the middle, roughly. Um, maybe 10 okay so 10 and finish go to floor plan so you see this thing just drag this back to onto this reference plan lock okay so now let's have a look in 3d view yep um maybe make it uh slightly bigger so currently it's uh, let me just change the scale select it maybe 12 uh, yeah I think that's that's better okay so maybe make it it a little bit I go to floor plan you can increase this maybe 75 okay so now these are the order support or the, the base and then we can create the camera so first I'm going to just draw a reference line okay first okay so let's do it so first we'll go to front view uh, sorry not front view floor plan so we're going to draw a reference plan sorry reference line on this reference plan okay so this is the reference plan we're going to place a reference line so first create set work plan pick a plan okay and pick this reference plan okay so now go to front view so now imagine we are looking uh we are uh, sitting uh, standing underneath the camera so we just need to create a reference line here 
and we're going to start from the center, the intersection point here. And I'm going to just draw it like this, okay? And then also uh, to to be uh, to be saved, I wanted to align this reference line onto this reference to these two reference planes. So click on the reference plane and click on this a uh, point of this reference line and lock again this reference plane, this point and the lock. And then add a dimension di, pick the angular, and from here to here. So this will be an angle parameter. Let me change this scale to 10. So and then we can add a parameter. Let's call it a1. Instance okay. So now let's go to 3D view and then have a test. So okay, so if we go family type. And let's try zero. Go that direction, 45, 90, 135, and 180. Okay, all oh, good. Let me change this back to 90 degree. Okay, so the next is I also want to place another reference line uh, and the second left reference line, we, we, we want to add a, a parameter, an angular parameter to, so we can rotate this uh, vertically. So now set work plan and pick a plan and OK. So move your cursor onto this uh, reference line. So see currently it's a horizontal work plan, just tap. And then this is the vertical, so pick. And then we can create another reference line. So starting starting from this point, so this end point, and then just roughly draw it like this. Okay. So for this one, you don't need to lock. Uh, should be all, should be alright. And then dimension angular. So pick this reference line, this reference line, this, and then this select this angle. Create another. So this time a two instance. Okay. So now. Let's have a try. So A1, so 45 degrees. So you will see this reference line will follow the, uh, the first reference line. And also, if you change this one, you can. So 0 will become horizontal. So 30 degree, and it will go, um, it will rotate down. So this is floor. OK, so direction. OK, so, or is it? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> that's that's fine. We can we can just uh, uh, we can have a test now. So if I create a project and and place this into the project, uh, let's quickly draw a wall. Go to 3D view. Place a component. Place it here. So yeah, that's correct. So you will see this is a base on the wall. And then this arm and go up and then there will be a camera on the top. So now let's go back to this family and we're going to model this the camera. So okay, so now let's do it. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a sweep. Okay, I'll create a sweep and I'm going to use pick path. Okay, so pick path and then um, I'll, I want to, because the camera will start roughly from here, so I'll drag this back a little bit and I'll roughly change this. Uh, I'm not sure about the size of the camera, uh, maybe 270, maybe. Uh, okay, so now if I finish it and then edit profile, so I'm going to draw the shape of the camera. And once again, I'm not sure about the, the actual size so what I'm going to do is I'll roughly uh, maybe 100 by 80, maybe, and move this. Uh, hang on. I want to move this to center. Yep, that point. Okay, so center with center to this uh, reference line, and I'll see if the size is correct or not. So I'll finish this. Um, does it look right? 
um, I don't know. Uh, maybe we need to move it back a little bit. And yeah. Anyway, let's pretend it's 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 the correct size. Okay, so now we need to actually what we need to is uh, we can we can let's do this edit sweep so we can add a little bit you know curve arc so radius to it and and also maybe do this let's do this i'm going to offset this so we can have different materials so for example we can have this as uh, a shell and then we can create another one so what i'm going to do is i'll just control uh or oh, actually if i control c and I control v we will lose the a connection between the the model so if i i've already control v and paste in the same same place but if I if I edit this and create the middle part, I think if we rotate this to so 20 degree, and you will see we already uh, lost the relation between the reference line and this uh, geometry. So what we need to do is Control Z, select this one, edit sweep, and the edit path we need to. Re re uh, redo this path so delete this and pick 3d edge pick this reference line and once again we just need to adjust this to you know to roughly and maybe we need to go down a little bit so and finish and finish so now we have this so and then we can give give it a different material okay so Okay, so now if I change, rotate this, it will follow that, right? Okay, so again, we can add uh, maybe a cover to it. Okay, so let's create sweep. Again, pick path, pick this reference line, and then adjust it, this the length, uh, maybe roughly like this and finish edit profile i'm going to pick the edge of this and but this time i'm going to offset a little bit so uh, maybe five and another five and then i'll just delete the internal one and then i will just uh, stop it here and stop it here. So I'm going to trim and trim and I'll delete this. So this will be the cover. I'll finish this and yeah, something like that. So of course, if you want to, you can just uh, cut away a little. So I'm going to use sweep again. So because sometimes it's easier to use sweep than uh, then um, extrusion because extrusion you need to set work plan but sweep you can pick long okay so or pick 3dh so, um, and then edit profile so you can do this so you can pick line pick line maybe you can just cut away some of this cover so oops and that's it finish so oops uh, too much <laughs> sorry about that uh, edit edit profile I just need to drag it back a little bit and finish okay that's better so and now mm, yeah I haven't give them all the materials so if you want to you can just add material or material parameters as well okay so let's load I think it's 
this one's a little bit too big. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we can go back and change the size. So which is here. So it's this one. 30, 25 maybe. Oh, sorry, 25. And maybe also this, make it skinnier. So uh, 18, and load this back. All right. Okay, so now this is it. Um, yeah, uh, maybe we need to move it back, but basically that's 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 it. You can you can try this. So 15 degree, 45, 90, 135, 180. Oh, good. And then you can change this one as well. 20 degree, 10 degree, zero degree. Can we go up? Negative. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's 45 degree. Okay, so 20. Yes, that's that's it. So it's a face-based generic model, and um, with with a reference line, with two reference line, with and the two uh, angular parameter. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have any question, please let me know. I will, uh, yeah, this I'll, I will upload the, this family for you to have a have a look. So the size probably not right. So if you want to change it, just just yeah, just have have a look of some uh, uh, so, size of the products and then you can change it yourself. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.